doing a carriage pistol. Right, as soon as I cast it, I'm going to start working on the carriage. Alright, that's got the worst of it off. <laughs> Judging by the patterns I'm seeing on this, there's a slight bow in the casting. I'm hoping that it's very slight, otherwise this is going to take a long time. I can fit a five thousandth shim under there. Not quite a six thousandth. A right, very quick status update here on Have a Go. I got the bed finished and I also did the casting for the cross slide here and I have made some progress on scraping it in on both the top and the bottom but I am not happy with this there is a visible bow in the casting here and that is because the original pattern that I used for it this pattern in fact has a visible bow in it from where it didn't 3D print properly. The surface finish on the parts that don't need to be scraped is also a bit poop. But the worst part is that on the pads here, I've got it to where they're making continuous contact with the bed all the way up and down on both sides. The problem is, I don't know how well you can see that, they're actually bowed oh, so that they're flat on this side and they slowly dip down on there so while it's making contact it's only making contact on this little strip here the outside edge is completely free of the, touching the bed at all which is not good and it's deep enough that if I were to sand it down so that it did make contact all the way across it come far too close to this middle part and yeah so this is the old bad pattern This is the new pattern that I've just finished printing. I've got wood filler on it to cover up all the layer lines and other artifacts of 3D printing. And once that's dry I'll sand back the wood filler to make it nice and smooth. Now these parts I've already smoothed over the wood filler and applied some shellac to them. So what I need to do with these now, just turn them back smooth with some fine sandpaper then put a second coat on them. The reason for the shellac is so that when I mould them the sand grips the parts less and they're able to lift off cleanly. Hopefully more cleanly than with the clear coat acrylic that I've been using. I used a paper towel to apply the shellac on these first initial parts and I think that's part of why it's so blotchy. So I'm going to sand them back a bit and this time I'm going to try applying the shellac with some cotton wool balls that I have. This is the shellac, doesn't look like much. It actually comes as a bunch of dry flakes that you mix with methylated spirits in a 4 to 1 or 5 to 1 ratio depending on who you ask 
and apply using various techniques. Paper towels work but it comes out very very blotchy and looks like poop. So I'm going to try cotton wool balls and I'll let you know how I get on with it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.